Hi everyone, today's video is on Windows Prefetch and uh, this video is specifically designed to give you an idea of what Windows Prefetch is and how it can help in digital forensics. So Prefetch files are used by Windows to store information on uh, software activities. So this will include the number of times the software has run, the associated files within uh, that software, within the usage of that software and so on. So prefetch files are usually located in the C Windows prefetch path and uh, along with other information it also contains the name of the program and when it was executed. So all prefetch files have the extension of .pf and the creation date of a particular peer, uh, the prefetch file uh, generally shows when the associated program was first executed on that system. And it also contains the last modified date which indicates the most recent or the last execution of that application. So let me show you one example on how to get these details. This is the path to the prefetch files. And here you can get all prefetch files for the applications that were executed. So as you can see here, I have taken the date created and the date modified fields for this folder. And this will give us an idea on the uh, first date and the last date a particular application has been executed. So just for this example, I will take one application. Assume this is related to a malware application and the malware is executed as ngest.exe. As you can see here, the program was first executed in 2022 and last date of execution is 2023. So in order to analyze other information of the file, we will be using a tool called PECMD. PECMD is an open source CMD tool used to fetch all artifacts from a prefetch file. I will give the download link for this tool in the description below. To get the information on this file, I will be using this command. These are the information that I extracted related to the application that we gave. So as you can see here, the executable name of the application is ngest.exe. Here you can see the file system uh, timestamps that we also saw previously from the Windows Explorer. Then we have the hash, file size and the version. Next, you can see the run count. This was run for 268 times and the last run time is also mentioned uh, as the same date uh, as the file modification time that we saw earlier. Apart from that, we can also get some of the other run times. Uh, but here, we can't get all. We can only get up to seven days. Next to information includes the directories and the files which are referenced. And these can be important, especially if this particular incident is related to a malware. You should also keep in mind that the attacker or the adversary can delete the prefetch files if they have administrative privileges to that particular computer. In that case, you should first use a recovery tool. And uh, say the whole entire uh, machine has been wiped out, then you have to uh, check the prefetch folder for any uh, similar uh, applications that can be used to wipe out data. So this is all for this video. It was a quick video on how to do prefetch file analysis and the importance of it. Hope you all learned something. If you all have any questions, put them down in the comment section below and I'll be able to answer. Thank you.